brushes and sandpaper. Sandpaper, that's what we need. Most of us are in the van and we're about to head to Walmart because we're gonna work on a special project today because it is a total monsoon out here. Like it's so much rain, so much water, get some supplies so that we can come back and paint a little bit if we can get out of the driveway. So far so good actually. I'm really shocked. Okay, we got out. Maybe. Yeah, so far it's still not out of the woods yet. We're out, we're out. Um, another little tidbit is that poor Liza is not feeling well. Actually, a lot of people are not feeling well in our family, but um, Brian and Liza and Andy and George stayed at home. Walking into Walmart. I agree. Your feet are gonna get wet and you're gonna get sick of that. Oh no. Oh no. I have a question. Does anybody else have a hard time keeping their kids in socks and shoes during the winter time? Or is it just me? Um, we're heading back to the toys to try to find something for Liza. Um, it's a little surprise to make her feel better about not getting to come with us. Okay. <gasps> well, that's definitely not what we're getting Liza, but anyway. Look at this one. They're so cute. And then I go, Oh my word. Ah! Okay, this is more of the right aisle. Little cute girly really things. Is. Okay, so I think we found Liza some stuff. What are, where is it? It's a cute little, little dog. Puppy. It's so soft. So cute. And then it's like a build a bear thing, but we don't know what's in it. Yeah, it's like a surprise. So. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Or should I get like a tub? Um depends on what color that it is. Cause yeah, you Depends on how much, like, is the majority of your box going to be that color? Like, my whole box is going to be that color, and then I'm going to So this is the damage. A lot of paint and sponges and stencils and things. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, paintbrushes and sandpaper. Sandpaper, that's what we need. But I think we're about done. I think we're about to wrap this up and head home. I needed this a lot. It's actually a great deal. It was $20 and it's now only five. Marble slab, cute little handles, and I'm gonna put something really cute on it. So we're trying to make our way out of Walmart without wrecking or hitting anyone. Okay, so these are all the flooding areas of the day. That river, oh my word, that's water in it. Okay guys, guess what time it is? Uh, time to play our boxes. Yes. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. We gotta get everything set up first. Okay, so the first step is to sand. There's sanding all the rough spots out. Everybody is um, moved on from the sanding stage and is now getting their paint out. The smell of the paint. Mm -hmm. It's a nice pretty color. Ooh, the color turned out good, Annie. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it is. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah. For like a whole craft session. It's okay. Just Once it's drying, you're supposed to. Well, that's enough. I use my fingers to turn around hers. Annie's made really good progress on hers. And here's Ailey. She's really got some, some modern art going on. We've got Annie's lid. Zola's lid has some splatter on there. Liza's is red. Let's see how it turns out. Michelle's paint this thick. I think we decided to take a break 
and finish working on them tomorrow. A lot of really cool designs. I'm proud of them. I think they did a good job. I think we're gonna call it quits for tonight and we're gonna hop on them tomorrow and see how they all turn out. And I think we're gonna play a little game to finish off the evening. Night. Okay, I just wanted to kind of show you how these have ended up. Yet again, they're still not completely done. I think Liza's wanting to put another coat of paint on hers. I think this one's Zola's. I really like that paint splatter on there. Um, on her lid, she put a Z. She's got ivories over here. She's got some little circus animals, which are super cute on the side. Some polka dots. And Ailey's ended up over here with Really cool watercolor to look blended together with an A. And this one's Annie's. She's already put hers to use, so it's completely done. I won't pick it up or mess it up. But she's uh, she hand painted all of those little flowers on there. And lastly, this is the one that I painted for George. It's got some little alligators around the inside. We've got an alligator in the bottom of it. That's pretty much the end of our painting of the cheese boxes. I think they turned out really well. I'm very proud of everybody.